back to my channel. No, you're on the right channel. You didn't make a mistake. I'm the Baking Diva. But for the last, I think, six videos, I've been doing these little vignettes on my trip to Martha's Vineyard. So I hope you've been enjoying them. Next week, I'll be back to my baking. So don't you go away. Um, now, I am not, by any means, a restaurant reviewer. No, I'm just a, a lady with a YouTube channel who went on vacation and had the great experience of meeting some executive chefs, um, bakers, diner owners, um, fun guys who are studying medicine from England, and I just had the opportunity to make some cute video videos. So I thought maybe you'd enjoy going on my little trip to Martha's Vineyard, especially if you've never been there or it's someplace you wanna go. So today, we're gonna talk about the Martha's Vineyard Chowder Company. Now, we ate there with our dear friends, Marie and Jeff, and it's located in Oak Bluffs. It's right across the street from this mm, red barn that says Flying Horses, and there's an old carousel in there. It's the oldest working platform carousel in America. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this carousel was built in 1876 and it was in Coney Island. And then in 1884, it was moved to Martha's Vineyard where it sits in this red barn today. And it's a big feature of the island. Everyone likes to go there and try to get the brass ring um, on where? Where do they get the brass ring, Cameron? As they're riding around, they put their fingers out. Oh, yeah. And then I think if they get it on there, um, they get a free ride on the carousel. In fact, our friend Jeff told us he was able to do it. And he's such a nice guy that he gave it to one of the little kids there so they could go on the carousel again. But anyway, the restaurant we're going to talk about today is right across the street from the um, carousel. And um, the reason we went there is because my husband, the cameraman, hi cameraman. Hi Diva. He loves New England clam chowder. He talks all the time about his grandmother's New England clam chowder, how it has lots of clams in it. It was creamy and he's never tasted a clam chowder like hers. She passed on when she was 99 years old. And he's still been searching for a clam chowder that can come close to hers. So we went to the Martha's Vineyard Chowder Company because we had heard that they won best clam chowder in New England for something like four or five years in a row. So what better place to go and try the clam chowder? Now, I'm not a seafood lover. So even though it's advertised as a fish house and a raw bar, the diva ordered the ribs and they were full off the bone, papone, full off the bone, delicious. So even if you're not a fish lover, you'll find something there that will um, make your palate very happy. So anyway, we went there. And I had the good fortune to meet the executive chef. Um, he was so nice. He came outside and he gave me a little interview. Um, his name is Glenn. 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 Glenn, what's your last name? Glenn Von Newman. That's right. Glenn Von Newman. Now, he knows the secret recipe to this clam chowder. But uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to share it with me. What do you guys think? So anyway, I'm going to hand it over now to Glenn, and I'm going to speak with him, and let's take some guesses whether he shares some of that recipe with us. So here's Glenn. <laughs> Hi, everyone. 
everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. Most of you know um, that follow me that I do baking and I also dabble in cooking. I'm on vacation this week and I did promise you all that I would try to get a couple of videos and post them next week. Well, lo and behold, I got a great interview which I didn't expect. I am at the Martha's Vineyard Chowder Company. And I'm here with the chef who is the head chef. And what is your name? Glenn Von Newman. Glenn. Executive chef Glenn Von Newman. Well, it's nice to meet you, Glenn. Thank you. All right. Nice I have heard you. so many nice things about this restaurant. And we are staying at the home of um, our friends, um, Jeff and Marie Hunt. And they insisted we come here. My husband heard that your chowder, your clam chowder, was the best. So before we get into that little secret, which I know you're probably not going to tell me. Uh, um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, okay. <laughs> How long have you been um, the chef here? Um, well, I took over in October. I've been working here for a year. Um, I was uh, just a line cook last year, and I've been a chef for over 20 years. Oh, okay. And uh, their chef left in October, and um, I asked them if they would like me to take over. They said yes, and here I am. That's great. That's great. Now, did you, do you have any professional? Um, yeah, I've been a chef cooking? here on the island for uh, three seasons at a, a restaurant that's no longer around. It's oh, called okay. Canoes in your Haven. Um, I have uh, lots of experience at Island, Annemarie Island in Florida, which is uh, Manatee County. It's a little bit south of Tampa. So I've been cooking for a long time. I've been cooking since I was a little kid, actually. Oh, really? But professionally, I've been a chef for 22 years. Oh, wow. I've been that's in business great. for 35 years. Very good. So I would say you have a little experience. Just a tad. Just a tad. Just a tad. <laughs> well, we ate here tonight and we really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of ironical because they are all fish lovers and I am not. But I go along with the, you know, the ride. I had your ribs. Yeah. And they were absolutely full off the bone. Delicious. Oh, well, I um, So I did enjoy them. My husband was anxious to um, have your chowder. I mean, we're from New Jersey, so he came all the way to Martha's Vineyard to taste your chowder. I hope it was worth it for him. He loved it, <laughs> and Marie's husband, Jeff, loved it. So what can you tell me about your chowder that makes it different than, say, other chowders? Because I read somewhere that that chowder was voted the best chowder. Yeah, we, I, uh, I believe it's been the last four years running, or four or five years. Um, my boss is chef owner Alex McGee. It's, uh, it's his recipe. Um, of course, I can't give you the recipe. No, I know that. But I That's can okay. tell you that everything that we use is fresh. The clams are fresh. The celery, the onions, and everything is, is chopped by us. We use fresh herbs. That's probably the difference. Is uh, nothing dried or nothing out of the can. The juice. I, I think the that's what I heard them talking about. Like a lot of people start out with. Don't they start out with like the like juice from a can? Yeah, we'll start and with juice from a can. There. A lot of people, we, we also cater to the gluten free. It's done with a thickened with a potato starch instead of a flour roux. Uh, we keep it very New England style. You see a lot of places we use bacon. You know, they try to make it their own. But the people who come to England want a New England fresh shop. Right. Right. So you know, we cater to those people who want a good classic version. But Alex, Chef Alex, twist is that uh, it's the freshness of everything. And right. I can't tell you what herbs, but there are herbs that are fresh and they can come okay. Yeah, because my husband's grandmother lived until she was 99. She was from Boston. And um, he said that she made the best clam chowder around. And you got a compliment back there because I think yours came very close, very close, very, very close. close. So very that close. was that was really good. I think he had your lobster roll, yeah. which he was dying to have. So um, I just appreciate the interview, oh, no problem. and uh, it was really nice to meet you. Well. And I'll put you on YouTube, and I'll send you a copy. Well, thank you okay, very much. Okay, thank you very much. All okay, right. nice we'll meeting you. you. Guys have a nice evening. Okay, you too. Bye bye. Are you gonna be on the island for a little while? Uh, another day. Another day. Yeah. We'll take you back in here. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. We'll see you. Um, so anyway, that was a wonderful interview I had with the head chef at the Martha's Vineyard uh, Chowder Company. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.
subscribe on my channel. And if you're in Martha's Vineyard, make sure you stop here because all I can tell you is the four of us ate dinner here tonight. It was delicious. So anyway, see you soon. Toodles. the executive chef Glenn Von Newman's interview with me did not disappoint. He's really a nice guy and he's a very, very experienced chef. But did I get the secret recipe out of him? No, I didn't think I was going to. But he gave me a few hints how to use all fresh ingredients in their clam chowder and special spices which he wouldn't divulge. But anyway, all I can tell you is, if you're looking for a good clam chowder and some yummy seafood, take a trip over there. Now my husband knows what good food is because he grew up in East Boston. So he's a Bostonian, you know, one of those Red Sox fans. And I will tell you that he loved the clam chowder. I told the chef, and I'm sure you heard, that my husband said it came <laughs> this close to his grandmother's. And trust me, that's a big, big compliment. So the only thing I can suggest is if you have the good fortune, like we did, to go to Martha's Vineyard for vacation, try the Martha's Vineyard Chowder Company. I can guarantee you that the chowder is what will keep you coming back. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get some more subscribers. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and make a comment so I know you're out there. So I think this may be the last part of my little mini series series is series I'm going to talk to my host Jeff and Marie and see if they'll let me take a little peek into their beautiful home that we stayed in Marie is a designer and she's also the owner of headpiece.com I wanted to throw that plug in for her because she designs and makes the most gorgeous bridal headpieces you ever saw and she does them for people all around the country and out of the country. <coughs> so anyway, if she allows, because her house is decorated so beautifully, I'll post another video that says get to know our hosts. But if not, that's okay too. Stay tuned because next week I'll be back to baking. Okay, see you soon. Toodles!